Hello, welcome back. Debbie here from Barossa Valley Crafts. Today we're going to make this card. Now this was inspired by um, a card that I get that's already pre-cut and scored from Craft Zone. So it's I've, I will be making cards later using this Twisted Double Easel card um, cards. But this one is very similar to this base card but with a couple of differences. So I'm going to show you how this one was made. So I guess we could call it, um, well, a mini easel card, an easel card. I'm not sure. We'll think of a name for it. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'll show you how this one was made. So it looks like that from the top, that from the front. And it will fold flat like so for posting, which makes it a reasonable size. And it's not a big card. When this one's finished, it's four inches by four inches all folded up. So we'll unfold it again. And then we'll just pop that up, put that into place. And we use a bit of Velcro to hold it together and then stick that up. And that's it. It's very effective, actually. It's quite nice. Okay, let me show you how to do it. So to start off with, the base card is 8 inches by 8 inches. Now on one of the sides, measure at the 4 inch mark and do it again on the other side. And using a score tool, you can use one of those. Or some people use, oh, I haven't got one here right now. Some people have got a little tool with a ball on the end, which is great for scoring. Or if you don't have one of those, use a biro that doesn't work. Line up your two little marks at the four inch mark and firmly press down to score it. Then rotate, rotate it to your left and at the top, Again, measure four inches, put a little mark at four inches, come down to your score line there and mark that at four inches and lining those two little marks up, score it from the top just to the other score line. Then we're going to do some other scoring. So we're going to go from the top scored line here down to the score line on the side at four inches. So again, press fairly firmly to get your score line. Go over it a couple of times if you need to. And then we're doing the same on the other side. So from the top center down to the right hand side center where the other score line is. And score. I think I need to get a new one. Mine's had a lot of use. It's starting to get a bit worn. <laughs> so that's the start for your base card. Then down at the bottom put another little mark at four inches and lining up with your ruler. Now this ruler's actually got one metal side, so it's good for this. Put your blade at the center point and cut down to the four inch mark at the bottom. So if you need to cut it a couple of times, depending how sharp your blade is. There we go. So that will do that so you'll have a cut there and some scored diagonals and things up the top there okay so that's the base card now you will also need some more pieces so i'll just go through all the bases first so this one is five and a half by two and three quarter inches and score at the halfway mark. So that's two and three quarter inches because that will fold over. And that will become this piece in here. 
You need another piece two and three quarters by two and three quarters of an inch. And that is going to be your top piece for that. Another piece, two and one quarters, sorry, start again, two inches by one and a quarter. That's going to be here. That will be used to make the little stopper to, so this can stand up. And then cut two pieces, two and a quarter by one and a half inches. And they are the mat layers for there. And then we've got the decorative papers. So you need to cut two pieces, two and a half by two and a half inches. So one will go there. The other one is going to go on the inside of that little easel card. And you need three pieces that are three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Two of these you will cut diagonally. So using your ruler and a blade, line it up and cut. So you'll end up with triangles. So you'll do that to two of the three pieces. And then we have lots of little bits and pieces here. So you need two pieces that are two by one and a quarter inches. They will be the mats to go on there. And one piece that is one and three quarters by one inch. That will be your top layer to go here. And then we've got some little just white pieces. So cut two of them one and three quarters by one inch. They will be there and there. So I've stamped them. As you can see, I've just used scrappy bits. I don't need to cut up a whole piece of card to do those. So I've just used the scrappy bits and stamped those. And this piece, which is one and three quarters by three quarters of an inch. And again, I'll stamp that and that will be there. And then I have just a little bird cage here I'm going to use as decoration. And then for the back, I've cut another piece three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I've stamped it with a greeting. And that's going to go underneath on the bottom for your to and from. Okay, let me show you how it all goes together. So to start off with, so they're the pieces that you've cut diagonally. So we're going to attach them in place. I've already done those to save a bit of time. And then we're going to put this one on this corner here. So I'll just grab some glue. Oops. No, no. I'm just using a quick dry adhesive from Couture Creations. So many different glues out there and some are good for some things and some are better for other things. But I like this particular glue because especially when you're doing something like this, it's got a little bit of wiggle space to give you some time to get it into place. I'm just trying to work out the pattern, which way to have it because it's like the others. And... Just pop that into place. Now we'll fold the card. So it's going to be this, the top will fold down there and we'll just burnish that. And then we'll open it up again. And these parts will fold backwards. So this is where you're folding on those score lines that you did. And just having those score lines will help it fold where you want it to fold. So now that's going to fold over and that will become your base card. So we'll put it all together in a minute with the Velcro there. So now we're going to add the other bits and pieces. So... Um, let's 
let's see, we'll start off with these. So you're going to glue one of the um, two and a half inch pieces on the inside of that little other card. And then the other one will go on the single two and three quarter inch square card. The, actually, the papers that I'm using for this now, they're actually from Craft Zone. They come in, I think it's packs of four. Hang on, I've got some more here somewhere. Oh, I'll find them in a minute. They're here somewhere. I'll see if I can find them. But they come in packs of four. And there's some really pretty papers there. I had them sitting there ready to go, but obviously... I don't anymore. <laughs> Hang on, I just, no, can't find them. Anyway, but yeah, that's so those papers are from there, so they're really quite decorative and they're a good thick card. Then we're going to put these ones in place and that one. So we'll glue all these bits together so that there's less little pieces floating around while I'm gluing these down I'll just let you know that um, I do have a couple of Facebook groups one's called card making for beginners and beyond the other one is called uh, Barossa Valley Crafts and if you'd like to join us you're more than welcome we just have a group of people there and we just share card or creations that we've made and share hints tips and ideas and help each other out i'll add the links in the description if you want to join you're more than welcome come and share your creations with everybody it doesn't have to be what you've seen from my tutorials they can be anything not limited to brands so it's a bit of fun and there's no buy swap or selling in the groups it's not what they're about it's just all about um making cards and scrapbooking and just crafting and we'll pop this one on here Now, this little one here that I'm just gluing together now, I'm going to put on the back of that some foam adhesive because it will need to sit up from the base a bit to have something for the other bit to lock into to keep it standing up. So I'll just pop that on there. And now we'll put it all together. So we're going to get, so these are just, I just bought these from the cheapy shop. They're just little Velcro dots. Very sticky Velcro dots. And we'll put them together. Yeah, just make sure you put them in the right spot. So it's closing that way. So we're going to put the dots on there and then it will close over to there give it a good press so that they stick and then that can be pulled apart later so now we're going to pop all these bits and pieces on so with this part we're going to fold the top part in half I'll just burnish that and this is going to go on there so only stick on this part don't put glue on the top so we're going to put a bit of glue on here
If you're using directional paper, make sure you've got it all the right way when you're doing it. And it's going to just stick there. And this piece here, so that's going to look up and s that will hold that in place. Oh, I'll move that. I must have bumped it while it was still wet. There we go. So we'll just move the backing off that. Oh, sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's not. I think I say that in nearly every video. <laughs> so you just work out where you want that to sit and pop that into place. So that will now lock on to that one. Just move that back down a bit. I'm not having much luck here. I keep moving stuff. So that will now lock on to that. And then this is going to sit in here. So I'm just going to burnish this a bit more to make it sit better. That's better. Now it's sitting. Now we'll just pop that piece onto there. So I'll just put some glue on the back of this. And try and line it up so it's fairly sort of centred where possible. And then we'll put these two pieces in here. So just yeah, line them up so that they're evenly placed. I think what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to use this glue. This one, it's a bit quicker grabbing. And you don't have as much wiggle time with this one. So it's a it's an all-purpose art glue. It's another Couture Creations glue. Uh, put that one on this side. And then put that one on the other side. I'm just trying to line up these corners there and then have a straight line across there if I can do it. And there we go. And then we'll add the birdcage to the front. So you could make these to suit any occasion, obviously. You can birthdays, Christmas, anniversaries, just decorate them to suit whatever occasion you're making it for there you go so now that's all done oh out of camera there we go now I'm just going to make sure so this is the greeting to go on the back put it the right way I'm just going to undo that. And that'll go on there. So again, with when you're decorating them, you can add as much or as little as you like. And yeah, just have fun. And look, you're only limited by your imagination when it comes to doing this sort of stuff. And that's it, it's all done and finished. So it's very easy and you don't need any special tools. Obviously, if you've got scoreboards and cutting boards, it makes it a bit easier. But as long as you've got some scissors, a ruler, a pencil and a cutting blade, you can do whatever you like. And then just using up papers and things that you've got in your stash to decorate it with. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. And um, if you have, do give me the thumbs up. And don't forget, if you'd like to come and join us on the Facebook pages, you're more than welcome to come and join us. And um, hopefully we'll see you there. Thank you for joining me. Bye.